Saturday vibes, I want you to meet Tech Smarts. Get ready for today's digital life hack and stick around. A listener question is coming right up. Ever hop on a Zoom call and greet it with a friendly wave only to find all of your colleagues are waving at the same time? That's called the Zoom wave. And here's why it's sticking around even as remote work ends. Why do we wave on video calls even when the meeting's already going on? A few reasons. When the pandemic hit and your work meetings moved to video, a friendly wave of hello and goodbye became our way of signaling the start or end of a meeting. It sort of replaced the in-person handshake. And when someone waves at you, you get the urge to wave back. It's called motor resonance, and it's our body's natural way of saying, hey, I'll cooperate with you. And as we move back into the office, a recent survey says that 55% of all workers will still wave at the end of a meeting. Don't be left out. Join over a half a million people who get TechSmart the easy way with my free newsletter. You can sign up at getkim.com. All right, we're going to switch gears a little bit and reach into our listener inbox. Hmm, what question caught my attention today? Patricia from Ohio. Dear Kim, an elderly relative has fallen for a scam and believes that they're actually speaking with a celebrity. They have sent money, gift cards, and more. They absolutely refuse to believe that they're being scammed. I have the email address. Is there a way to find out who they are really chatting with? All right. Uh, This is just awful. There are some steps that you have to take. Number one, file a police report. They may be able to offer guidance, uh, but definitely report this jerk to the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center. You can do a reverse email lookup. You may be able to see if that email address is tied to any public profiles, social media accounts, or websites. But I'll tell you, many scammers use disposable or fake email addresses, though. You can try to contact the email service provider and see if they can help. They might suspend the account if you can prove it's a scammer. And be sure to secure their finances. If your relative has sent money or shared sensitive financial information, contact their bank or credit card company right away to report their fraud. They might be able to stop the transactions. And speak to your relatives. Share stories, articles, movies, shows that highlight the dangers, how all these scams work. Now, let me tell you something. I'd be happy to personally step in and lend a hand. I mean, often a third party like me is better able to knock some sense into a person that's being duped by a sophisticated scammer. Just head over to commando.com and fill out that email Kim form. And marvelous Marianne on our team is going to schedule a time for me to chat with you and your relative. Let me tell you, I'm here to help any way I can. Thanks a ton for listening. Now, if you have questions, comments, or just a digital dilemma, find your way to commando.com and hit that email Kim link. I treat each email like it's a VIP guest at a tech expo. Now, you can turn tech chaos into clarity. How? Well, you know, get my free daily newsletter over at getkim.com.